Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. Here's a look at some of the stories making news for you today. A one person detained after a shooting in Lauder Hill. This is the scene on Northwest 4th Court. This is just north of Broward Boulevard. Police say someone was shot right in front of a home after an argument. From Sky 10, we did spot one woman in handcuffs in the back of a police car. Authorities have not released any other information about the person who was detained, and a motive for that shooting has also not been told to us yet. An investigation is also underway after reports of a gas leak at North Miami Beach at Senior High School. Miami-Dade Public Schools telling us that students and faculty were evacuated as a precaution because there was a smell of gas in the air. Fire rescue crews responded to that scene. The students and faculty, though, eventually allowed to go back to class, and the investigation there at the school does continue. There's been a break in the case after an 18-year-old was murdered in a drive-by shooting in July. Brianna and Nina was shot and killed on July the 15th in North Lauderdale. Now, months after that, police have made an arrest. Nina's mother reacting to it. Very relieved and grateful with the job, with the work that the officers have done behind the scenes, working nonstop to um, get who's responsible for, for the death of my daughter. So I am truly grateful with the officers and that justice is being served. And this is the man police arrested. His name is Tyler Mobley, and detectives tell us he was the person firing from a moving car who shot and killed Brianna. No motive, though, for that shooting has been released to us yet. As breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. You can head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates all day long. Have a good day.